Hey guys and gals, this is going to be primarily a video response for Les at Awesome Paint Job. He uh, asked a while back if anyone had some suggestions on a paint storage unit for his Vallejo paints. So uh, this is my response to him. I talked to him a few times over email about uh, possible solutions. and So what I'm going to do today is um, go ahead and upload this as a public video so uh, if anyone else may be in the market for building some kind of paint storage unit and don't want to pop down thirty forty fifty dollars for some big nice fancy thing uh, this will definitely do you and save some uh, save some room on your desk so uh, again this is just going to be a small mock-up this is not I'm not building a big fancy nice display that's 14 feet wide and 12 feet tall. Uh, it's just going to be something real small and then you can scale it up however you need to. So uh, what I'm using is half inch MDF. Uh, I have this quarter inch MDF that I'll be using for spacers and then this eighth inch MDF uh, will be the backer. So first off what we have uh, are going to be the two sides. We have the right side, the left side, and the top and uh, each of these are two and a half inches in uh, depth so you know, if we're doing this number here we've got the top and the two sides once the paint sits in you're going to have pretty much the entire cap sticking out and uh, Les I know you said you like to paint the tops of your caps to uh, be able to see the color so uh, that's why I chose that depth so it doesn't matter how wide or how tall you make it as long as you keep the depth uh, at two and a half inches that leaves plenty of cap room uh, and gives you plenty of ability to grab each individual paint uh, instead of having to fumble around to try and get it out so uh, we've got our two sides we've got our top now for the shelves um, cut them at the same length but um, what I did here is angle the edge 15 degrees so when you are, so you've got your two shelves here, with this piece being angled, I don't know if I can do this without actually gluing it together, but when, uh, when the front is level and flush, your tray is going to be angled back. So your pots won't sit straight in, they'll stay on the shelves and be angled back a little bit. And once I get this assembled, you'll be able to see it better. But just wanted to uh, show you how it's supposed to look once it's done. Uh, this is not going to be a work of art. It is not going to be uh, pretty and or any kind of showpiece once it's done. Um, but you know, it it can be. Uh, this is uh, just showing you how to and not um, how it should look once it's completely done and finished up. So. Uh, what we'll be doing is taking our left, right, and top pieces, and these will be the first pieces that get assembled. So what we want to do is uh, attach the top first. So what I'm going to do is put this on, and uh, I've made um, a spacer to give me a uh, fairly accurate representation of how tall the paint pots are going to be, or paint bottles, excuse me, I'm using that games workshop jargon again. Um, so you can see that that gives you plenty of room. There's still some flexibility inside, so you're not trying to cram it into a space that's too tight, uh, but then it's not so loose that um, they'll just flop around everywhere. So with the top piece on, put my spacer in and then I'm going to make a little mark to show me where the top of the next piece should go so we would stick that in just like this and then do the same thing again put our spacer in and I'm not doing this as uh, neat or as accurate as I should be but uh, we 
least maybe you get the idea of how it works as I throw my pen across the floor or room or desk or whatever the heck this thing is. And we'll make that flush again. And bring our spacer back one more time. Make the mark. And that will be our bottom shelf. So then uh, we will go ahead and uh, attach these. We'll be using trusty liquid nails that you can't see. It's liquid nails uh, for paneling. And once that's done, then we will do the same thing on this side. Uh, well, before we do that, we want to go ahead and do the same thing we did on that, make our marks on the left side as well. That way uh, we ensure that they will line up on both sides once they are put together and be level. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so I will go ahead and do that now. It's going to take just a little bit for the liquid nails to dry, uh, and I don't want to sit here on camera doing all that and make it a 30 minute video. So I'll go ahead and attach those and then we'll come back and put the back piece on. Okay, so I can't remember if I said I would be back to put the back on or I'd be back after I put the back on. So it's been a little while and I actually feel a little better now. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can tell I feel a little better. So that's all that it makes all the difference in the world. So, um, yeah, the back is on, and uh, this is our finished product. Again, this is just small scale. Uh, it's not meant to look good at all. Uh, you can see there's some gaps here from where I just quickly cut the wood to uh, give a demonstration of how it's supposed to look once it's done. Uh, and big gap here. Not really worried about it. Uh, just trying to show you how to do it, not to how to not how to do it uh, perfectly. So. Uh, with that done, we'll take a few of the bottles, put them in. How many more bottles I have here handy? Oh, hey, look, it's me. Uh, you can't see me. So, um, now if you wanted to, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier either, if you wanted to use, yes I did, I, I think I do remember that, uh, if you wanted to use the um, a quarter inch MDF for the shelves instead of the half inch, um, that's fine. Now the reason that I selected the uh, uh, thicker shelves is uh, to give you maybe another idea instead of painting the tops of your uh, paint, if you were to say take your hot glue gun and uh, Oh crap. I put it aside and now I can't freaking find it. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Um, being a little absent-minded today. Can't remember where I put things. Um, what I have here, two little bits of sprue. So, let's say we have our paint going in here. It's going to be uh, royal purple. So, I'm going to take some hot glue. Just a little dollop. Put it on here. Again, please don't look at how it looks. This is just the concept that I'm trying to get across. And then we're going to take another bit of sprue and stick it underneath there. And you can do it horizontal or vertical. Once you have your paint in here, you could. Uh, Prime the bottom one black or the top one black. Prime the whichever one you didn't prime black. Prime it white. Then paint each of these sprue pieces the color of the paint in the bottle. Uh, and then you can see the difference of how they look uh, on a white primer and a black primer instead of uh, you know just whatever you use to uh, prime the lid with. Um, another suggestion is uh, taking a piece of plastic card. If you want something quick and dirty, throw some uh, hot glue on it, stick the plastic card up there, and then you can just do a couple of stripes maybe underneath whatever paint color uh, you wanted. 
or if you want to get real fancy get a label maker and uh, write the name under it whatever um, yeah that's pretty much it really quick basic uh, you could do enough to hold well, let's see how many can we fit in just this little piece three four five six uh, yeah you can tell I, I measured that right I can't even get another bottle in there um, but three six times three there's 18 paints in this little bitty cabinet thing so you know you could make it two feet wide and two feet tall and get every paint color in uh, one little area and as you can see the the footprint is extremely small and it's very sturdy too so um, yeah that's my suggestion for you Les um, and anybody else that's watching the video that uh, wants a quick and easy way to throw together a paint storage rack to get them out of your uh, out of your way when you're painting then that's my suggestion so that's it talk to you soon Evidently, I was mistaken when I said that uh, that was all and I was finished. Went back and looked at the last video and saw that when I was talking about uh, the footprint, that all you could see was about this part. So, uh, just backed out so you could get a, a better idea with it against the backboard and how far it would stick out from the wall. And it doesn't even come out uh, the full length of a Mountain Dew can. So, plenty of uh, space do your entire back wall um, and have every paint that you could possibly imagine stuck up there and, and it wouldn't stick out any more than uh, two and a half inches so that's that just wanted to tell you that uh, although technically I am a moron I am trying my best not to be talk to you soon guys